السلام عليكم ورحمة الله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين إن شاء الله تعالى we continue with سورة عبسة وتولى and we reached آية 11 we recited it yesterday but we'll recite it again إن شاء الله آية number 11 سورة عبسة I have the Mus'haq opened, inshallah, so that you can repeat after me. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan yubhadeem. Kalla inna tadhkira. Faman shaa adhkira. في صحف مكومة مرفوعة مطهرة بأيدي سفرة كرام ضررة قتل الإنسان ما أكثر من أي شيء خلق من نطفة خلقه فقدر ثم السبيل يسر ثم أماته فأقبر ثم إذا شاء أنشر كلا لما يقض ما أمر Ayah number 11, all the way to ayah number 23. Uh, so, kalla innaha tafkira. This is after what's mentioned, the reason why the surah was revealed, about the Prophet ﷺ turning away from the blind man that came to him when he was seeking guidance and seeking knowledge and seeking admonition. And instead, the Prophet ﷺ turned to someone that was not in need of, of this, uh, from the chiefs of Quraysh and the Prophet ﷺ was hoping for the guidance of that man because that blind person is a Muslim is a Sahabi anyway so the Prophet ﷺ was hoping for the guidance of the disbeliever but still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet ﷺ, uh, correcting the situation so which means nay it is a tafkir whether it's referring to the surah with this admonition, the reminder from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding his slaves and making it clear to them in the book of Allah what they need. That's why there's nothing in the Quran unless, I mean, everything that the human beings they need is there in the Quran. And the Quran will guide the people to the sunnah of the Prophet So even for that specific details of things that happens, the Quran would come down and correct it to be something till the day of judgment for people to learn. So, uh, nay, this is tafkira, or this is a reminder. Kalla innaha tafkira. Faman sha'a dhakara. Faman sha'a, as we saw with the tajweed, faman sha'a, ikhfa'a here, and the tongue is flat down and does not touch anything. Dhakara. Uh, whoever, uh, whoever will, Whoever will, فمن شاء ذكره, which means whoever wills, let him pay attention to it. Or let's have a, or let's have a, a, a reminder of it. That means he should then act upon it. فمن شاء ذكره. If there's a تذكره, there's a reminder, then whoever wishes, whoever will, then he should act according to the reminder. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَقُلِ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ فَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيُؤْمِنْ وَمَنْ شَاءَ فَلْيَفْرُ 
من سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم الحق the truth is from your lord whoever will to believe let him believe and whoever will he will disbelieve and they said other things فمن فمن شاء ذكر and whoever will he would he should remember Allah سبحانه وتعالى in all of his affairs so and it it refers to the wahi to the Quran or to this incident of what happened at the time of the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام فمن شاء ذكر في صحف مكرمة في صحف مكرمة mentioning the place of this تذكرة or this reminder that this is in صحف مكرمة in records held greatly in the honor of اللوح المحفوظ so this surah this reminder you know it, or, and of course the entire Quran is in صحف مكرمة in honored tablets in اللوح المحفوظ and it shows how you know, things of that nature is in such an honorable place it's reserved in Allah al-Mahfuz fi suhuf al-Mukarrama which is uh, something that it shows the importance of uh, uh, the importance of the admonition and how that some something simple like this is as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi suhuf al-Mukarrama marfu'ati mutahara marfu'ati mutahara which means it's exalted and purified and Ibn Sa'di rahimahullah, he said, Marfu'at al-Qadr, wal-Rutbah, that means it's high in status. Mutahara, purified, purified from the hands of the shayateen, or those who would take it away and distort it and so on. All of that is referring to the Qur'an and these verses. Bi'aydi safara, bi'aydi safara, which means the angels. Bi'aydi safara, the angels meaning the hands of scribes. Bi'aydi safara, the scribes or the angels, which they basically suffer, meaning that they are messengers between Allah and his slaves. They call the person when he's an ambassador, they call him Safir, because he's a messenger. The Aidi Safara, Kiramin Barra, Kiramin Barra, one of the characteristics of the angels, they're honorable and obedient or righteous. Kiram, that means they're honorable. That means they have lots of khir and lots of barakah. Barara means righteous in their hearts and their actions. As uh, what is mentioned that this is all from the protection that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made for his book. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protected his book, the Quran. That he made the sufara or the angels, the angel that brings the book to the Prophet ﷺ, angel Jibreel ﷺ, the best of the angels, the mighty angel. He did not have any means of the shayateen to affect it whatsoever, which the fourth then by necessity the believers should believe in it or the people should believe in it and submit themselves to the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why it says afterwards, which means be cursed or so the man, how ungrateful he is. Or can, it depends on the context of it. That means in the past tense, someone has been killed. But here it says, that means how perished the insan or the human being is. But it's originally, insan or it's like a dua against the person to be killed. right? But of course, here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that he is cursed or he is evil, like Qatalahum Allah. Right? So this is uh, also it's a, it's a bad sign and a warning for those who are ungrateful to Allah. How ungrateful he is to the favors of Allah and how much he opposes the truth in a stubborn way after the matter has been made clear for him. From what uh, thing did he create him? Reminding the human beings why they're arrogant, why they turn away from the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't they know how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them from? So showing the origin of the human beings, which is shows that he is one of the most weakest things. It's human beings are weak. And uh, they're created weak for them to humble themselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for them to reflect upon how they were created, the origin of their creation. Uh, which means from nutfa, the semen drop, he created him and then set him into proportion. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him from uh, the scene, the daily drop. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed for him to be created and fashioned him in the most perfect way 
and perfected his inside and outside to fulfill the purpose of his life. Again, when we say the human beings, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them in the most perfect way. What is the most perfect way? The most perfect way for what the, they have been entrusted with the job that they are entrusted with. Right? So if you have something or a job to be done, and that job, for example, requires for the person to have a certain ability, right? then you would choose someone that would you know, fulfill it and has the means to do it. All of the human beings, if they're alive, if they reach the age of puberty, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave in them, put in them what's sufficient for them to fulfill the purpose of their life, whether they're sick or healthy or um, having um, handicapped or not, whatever there is, you know, everyone is given what would be suffice for him to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So, min nutafatin khalaqahu faqaddara. And that means that he decreed his, his matter, his life, his uh, everything about him. ثم السبيل يسرى then السبيل then uh, he makes the path easy for him which means then uh, he made it easy the easy path for him to go outside of uh, the womb of his mother as the Abbas Ali said and also any path that he takes since he was a child when he was born the means for him to excel and to grow and any means whether it's religious or worldly means that the human beings are able to take them the paths in their life. ثُمَّ السَّبِيلَ يَسَّرَى And he made it easy for him to be able to make decisions and to do things and so on. ثُمَّ السَّبِيلَ يَسَّرَى Then, ثُمَّ أَمَاتَهُ فَأَقْبَرَى Then he made him die فَأَقْبَرَى and puts him in his grave. This is the journey of the human beings in three simple verses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him from a dirty drop and then he finds his way in this life, ثُمَّ السَّبِيلَ يَسَّرَى This life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the word of it, السَّبِيل السَّبِيل, which is a path. When you're in a path, you're going to a destination. You're not really uh, clinging to the path. The path is made for people to walk on it and to keep on walking. And this is how this life is. ثُمَّ السَّبِيلَ يَسَّرَى ثُمَّ أَمَاتَهُ فَأَقْوَرَى Then he made him die. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after he created the human being, then he make him die. And he, he put him in the grave. And this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught the human beings to put their uh, dead in the grave, in the ground. Uh, As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, from it, from the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created you, and from it and to it you will return, and from it you shall be resurrected. Then when he wills, he will resurrect him. Then uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will resurrect him. When is the resurrection? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows, but nobody knows when is the day of Al-Qiyamah. That's why he said, Tumma idha sha'a, inshallah, the day of Al-Qiyamah is a, definitely with certainty it's going to establish. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best when. And no one has uh, partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this whatsoever. Then, kalla lamma yaqdi ma amara, which means, uh, nay, but man has not done what he commanded him. Uh, which means that with all of this, with all of what human beings and what's mentioned, and if they know this and it's a very clear sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to them, that how they're created and how their life and how they die, with all of this, the human being still does not, for many of them, they do, they do not fulfill the purpose of their life, they're not obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered them to do something, to worship him alone, to be obedient to him, he's still not fulfilling the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the way he ought to be. So uh, this is as we see how the, the human beings uh, are ignorant and how they um, they are supposed to take lessons of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed and to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to exalting the Quran and so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us guidance. We go through the words inshallah kalla إِنَّهَا تَذْكِرَةً And we talked about that uh, yesterday, تَذْكِرَةً From ذَكَرَةً Which means to be uh, remembered or to be reminded. فَمَنْ uh, شَاءَ So فَمَنْ Then whoever شَاءَ Wills From شِينِيَ أَلِفْ ذَكَرَةً The same thing. May remember it. And the ha here remember, refers to the, um, the Qur'an which is the Wahyu of Allah or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the Adventure. فَمَنْ شَاءَ ذَكَرَةً 
في صحف مكرمه صحف is uh, you know the same three letters of the root of it which means sheets في صحف مطهره في صحف مطهره او مكرمه بصوره في صحف مكرمه مكرمه honored from kafra in and that's the meaning of al karam or uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al karim the most generous subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's honored marfu'a uh, that means exalted from rafa'a high level marfu'a mutahhara mutahhara that means purified from ta'ha bi'aydi in the hands bi'aydi in the hands of safara scribes from seen fa ra so these are the angels who write the actions and a uh, safir is really the, the writer the safir is the book kiram barara kiram noble kafra mim barara means righteous or dutiful from ba ra so they're obedient to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are righteous qutila uh, which means is destroyed or perished or killed or cursed al insanu uh, from the elf noon scene, the human being, ma akfara, ma is a question, letter akfara, ungrateful he is, kafara, how ungrateful the human being, uh, then min nutufatin, from, or min ayy shayin, min ayy shayin, from what thing he created him, khalaqa, created him, min nutufatin, and nutfa is, the same drop, the same three letters, noon ta, fa, and it comes in the meaning of the water, or the pure water. Right? And this is uh, originally how it's, uh, it's mentioned. He created him at the end. Like the Qadr, proportioned, measured. Measured him, his body, his life, his end of his life, everything. ثم then, السبيل is uh, from seen seen bat lamb, which is the path. Like we said, the path of Allah. Thumma sabila yassara. Yassara from ya seen Allah. That means made it easy. Yassara. Thumma amatahu. Amatahu caused him to die. From me mawta. From an mawt. Fa'akbara. Then he provides, or he made him put in the grave. He provided a grave for him. And the earth is, is vast enough for people to be buried in it. From a cover. ثم إذا شاء if he wills أنشرة أنشرة which means we we'll resurrected from noon شاء شين راء and the same word is used when you when you hang clothes on the on the on a rope or something outside says نشرة a thobe he spread it uh, you know like this which here means to resurrect him to bring him back the way it was before. كَلَّا لَمَّا يَقْضِي مَا أَمْرَ يَقْضِي mean accomplish or, or uh, does قَوْضَضْ يَا and to rule and to judge كَلَّا لَمَّا يَقْضِي مَا أَمْرَ what he have been commanded I mean the human being did not fulfill the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after all what is mentioned so as you see here the, these verses uh, after the beginning of surah Abasa and we talk about Abdullah uh, and Tuma and so on, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing the importance of the reminders. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, mm-hmm. Remind because the believers, they really need the reminders, especially at times of fitna and tribulations. A person should be in need of the reminder. He should seek it. And he should seek it while having the heart ready for it, turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Also, uh, it shows that everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed in an honored place, and it was not just uh, happened to, to be like the words of the human beings, this is the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which a person should have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his heart, and he's reciting the book of Allah. And they believe in the angels, and some other characteristics of the angels. They don't sin, they're in constant worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then comparing that to the human beings, how the human being is ungrateful to Allah when he created him, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him from what we heard. So to be uh, from the benefits we learn, they believe in the angels. The, the angels are honorable. They, uh, you know, the Quran is honored. This is all benefits for people to read the Quran. 
and uh, to humble oneself to know the reality of the human being that if they lead themselves to themselves they'll disbelieve they'll be ungrateful meaning ungratefulness but uh, this is what a person has to work on himself and to reflect upon how weak the human being are when the person finds himself some form of arrogance or seeds of arrogance and so that him then remember how weak and how deficient and how he is in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's where the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, when they reach high status of something like Umar radiallahu anhu, they would remind them of how weak they are so that they don't get carried away following their desires. They believe in the after is mentioned and that uh, the human beings, they do not fulfill the orders of Allah, many of them, and therefore their, their affairs will be accordingly in the day of judgment. So, uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us among those who uh, listen to the verses of the Quran and apply it in their life.